Africa. All right, guys, as you can see, I printed off some pages from the Isuzu uh, tech manual. And I was working on this part right here. And normally when I assemble engines, I go through each part and check it visually and physically. And I uh, came across something I don't like. These are the main bearings for the crankshaft. And this is on, uh, I guess it would be cylinder number one on the front of the engine. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to reuse that. And then as we move along, number two looks good. Aside from some discoloration. But uh, number three, uh, absolutely trashed. So... Once again, we're waiting on parts so I can continue this game that we're playing now with the motor build. The crankshaft, surprisingly, doesn't... I mean, it looks totally fine. There's nothing that I can get my fingernail caught on. Um, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. So the, the crankshaft, surprisingly, didn't take the abuse that the uh, bearing eventually would have dug into it. On a side note, Willow and I have been working on some projects around the house and yesterday we finished up this uh, fence. We had a uh, old, well, hi Aura. What are you doing up there? We had an old, uh, oh, she's saying hi to everybody. <laughs> 
Come down from there. Come on down. Come on. It's okay. Anyhow, uh, we went through and wire wheeled all the, the posts, all of the posts down and uh, had a spare can of uh, paint that didn't quite match my truck. So we use that. It's oil based stuff that I like so much. But um, neighbor helped pay for half of the fence and man, it turned out nice. Will and I busted it out yesterday. So we're constantly catching up on projects around here during this downtime that we're having from uh, our normal hourly wage gigs. And then Willow took that dirt mound that you guys might remember I made this extra parking spot. And she's going to put a little retaining wall up out there. But she basically built a little tree mound. And she's going to put some bark dust and whatnot. So that looks, uh, that'll look really nice when it's done. Aura, what are you doing out here? But let me show you this old fence that we tore down. Just junk. Absolute junk. It, you touch it and it falls apart. So I think that this project ended up turning out really good. As far as uh, the cylinder liners, I don't think you guys are going to be able to see this. I was able to get most of the scarring out and put a nice good cross hatch on all these. So I'm pretty excited about that. It seems like cylinder number three here um, had some issues. However, as I told you guys before, I ordered a bunch of genuine parts. So we got brand new piston rings, brand new piston ring kit, and then um, we're going to be reusing those pistons. I inspected them all. And that little crack that's on the top is just a surface crack. And I did some research online. And it's pretty common with the 4BD2Ts to have the, the pistons do that for whatever reason. It was a manufacturing flaw or whatever the case may be. But some of the other guys that I talked to, they're just like, run those pistons. They'll be better than any aftermarket ones you can get. But like I said, now we're at a standstill. And um, we're basically going to be waiting on parts to arrive so that I can continue this build. Hopefully uh, they'll be here Saturday. If not, they'll be here Monday or Tuesday and we can continue moving forward on this build. But that's just kind of how things go on um, these projects. You got to make sure you put things together the right way. Otherwise, you go out in the middle of the woods and this whole snowcat be left there and everybody will turn it into target practice because it's abandoned and whatnot and you aren't able to get it out. But other than that, guys, that's going to be it for this episode. If you like this episode, give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed yet, I'd love to have you as a subscriber on this channel. You're going to want to watch me finish up this Rusty the Snowcat build. I think you guys are really going to like uh, the plans that I have for them. And uh, my vision is it's going to be the absolute most badass Snowcat you've ever seen as far as a thiacal sprite, so. Or she's crazy. But anyhow guys, uh, that's gonna be it for this episode. And as always, uh, take care, be safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. See you later, bye-bye.